This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It is Porto. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It's Porto versus Arsenal. Surely, splendid defending. Not out of the woods yet. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Real chance. And what a magical save it was! Who can he pick out? A struggle to get it away properly. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Declan Rice. Martinelli. A real opening now. And defensive play to be applauded. Gabriel Jesus. Havertz! And a goal! The opening statement of this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. As a go. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1-1 here. Gabriel. Taking it away. Now, let's see what they can do here. Took a touch off the defender, so it will be a corner. Played over. Well, it was a crowded penalty area, but the keeper's done well to hold on to that. Martin Odegaard. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Real chance. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. This to put them back in front. And confident 
lovely conversion. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. And it's a quality pass. And swiftly ending that attack. Declan Rice and it will be an Arsenal free kick well that could be the final warning well he needs to be careful now next foul and it's a card William Saliba It's with Gabriel. Declan Rice. Well, they have the ball once more. The defenders, though, you can't really allow space like that. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Oh, great attacking play. Gabriel Jesus. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And while the finish might not be the cleanest of strikes, it's still good enough to beat the keeper. What a lovely goal that is. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Ben White. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Wendell and Varela with it just cutting off the supply could be a chance to break here Gabriel Jesus electing to cross into the centre danger averted Declan Rice. Now Zinchenko. It's with Erdogan. And they need to get tighter here. And defensive play to be applauded. Declan Rice. Just the challenge that was required. Taremi. Varela. Pepe. Oh, good looking run. Oh, it's in! And it goes down as an own goal by the keeper. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there.
And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, Gabriel Jesus had a lot to say for himself in the first 45. Sum up his performance for us. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Second half underway, and Arsenal looking to build upon a largely positive first half performance. Using his strength to shield the ball. And tidily played. And the decision is one of offside here. Into the advanced position. But they dealt with the threat posed. Now perhaps they can counter from here. They need to get bodies back. Can he put it in? Nicely saved. Remarkable save. Yes, again. Inspirational. Bukayo Saka. Now Zinchenko. Martinelli. Excellent vision. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Evan Nilsson. Trying to open them up. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Arsenal finding space on the wing. Opportunity! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Galeno, perfect tackle. William Saliba. Bukayo Saka. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Sends it back. Nice looking move, this. White. Bukayo Saka. Ben White. And teammates to play it to. And pull back. Hammer! Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a... A lot of work to do now. Scoreline 4-2. Pepe moving the ball forward with purpose. He has time to play it over. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Teamwork and passing in evidence. And no problems at all for the keeper. 
pressure applied. 20 minutes remaining. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. Ball is loose. Just the clearance that was called for. Tossard. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Now the cutback. Couldn't grab hold of it. An Arsenal corner. And time for the change now. Over it comes. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. And super tackle, and they've won possession. And that is how to block. be a Porto throw in Varela able to get his body in the way oh he's lost possession opportunity here well he hit it with authority close substitution time it is here William Saliba White Rice with it Trossard and a goal kick will be next and time for the change now And just five minutes remaining. Good work from Porto to win it back. Fran Navarro. Wendell. Corner given. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Threat over for now, it seems. Gabriel Jesus. Spot on with that tackle. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Fine cross into the middle, and that's sound goalkeeping. Corner awarded. Can he deliver it with accuracy? There's the final whistle, and Arsenal with the advantage going into the second leg of this tie. Well, they were really good today. Their approach play, their movement off the ball, and of course their finishing were excellent, as was their work rate. A disciplined performance in the second leg, and they're into the final.
Well, a high-level contribution from Kai Havertz. Stuart, sum up for us what most impressed you about his performance. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.